if we don't, does the does the does Wall Street care, or is it just poor Main Street once again that gets the short end of the stick? I don't know whether does Wall Street need a, a more stimulus for the markets to to stay happy, or or do we just need it to try to help those parts of the economy that are still uh, under stress? So listen, I, you, Joe, you said earlier, I think on the show, that it's all about the Fed. I mean, right? I mean, we have seen the Fed and Jay Powell stand up and say we're going to backstop the credit markets, and that's fueling a lot of, I think, what's going on, in my personal opinion, in the markets and, and the deal activity that we're seeing. But in terms of WIP, yeah, as you remember, I mean, I cut my teeth as the WIP before I became the leader. And you're right. I, I, my gut is just looking from the outside and what's going on in, uh, in D.C. My gut is that they are satisfied now that uh, they're well positioned. Each party thinks they've taken the necessary votes for cover, if you will. And it'll be the main street uh, businesses. It'll be the small businesses. It'll be those who are unemployed um, that uh, won't uh, won't come out of this as well. And so those, you know, the economists who come up with this uh, vision of a K recovery, they may have something there because there's certainly sectors that are doing OK and others that are just not. Yeah. So no deal then right? in November. Well, by November, you no know, deal. the thing is, or, or, they, or, they yeah. got, there's, there's one driving mechanism that is going to happen at the end of this month. And as as has been typical of Washington over the last several years, they've been unable to come together on a spending bill. And so what happens at the end of the fiscal year, which is going to be in a couple of weeks at the end of September, is they'll pass what's known as a continuing resolution to keep things steady as to where the funding levels are now without changing much. That would be the only, I think, real opportunity for the two sides to get together to try and produce something to help people who really need it in a targeted way. Um, I'm, I'm below 50 yeah. percent prognosticating on that, that that's really going to happen at this point, given where things are. The uh, must have been some celebration among the, some of the, the, the lady partners down at Molas for yesterday with Citigroup, right? Pretty big news. Well, you know, uh, it, groundbreaking, it, historic day. We've got, you know, it's interesting, Mollis and Company, obviously founded by Ken Mollis uh, 12, 13 years ago, but we've got a COO and founder um, of, uh, and a board member who's, who's a woman. And I always say it's because of her and her team uh, that we've been so successful. So uh, I'm glad to see that. I mean, it's, it's obviously a, a big uh, milestone for uh, corporate America to have a bank like City to uh, be, uh, be run by a woman. And I think uh, we'll, we'll begin to see more of that across not only the financial services sector, but across, across the country. All right. Well, we'll just end with, uh, I don't know. Can you say anything positive about the, the political environment? Uh, Listen, Joe, we, what's it going to take? Is we it great, possible to get a, worse? We got a great country. You know, I mean, we can't forget that. We've got a great country. And, you know, it's polarized. Washington is extremely polarized, but it's only reflecting the, the public at large. We are a polarized country right now. Even the issue of wearing masks has become polarized. And you listen to Scott Gottlieb, and y'all do a great job, and he does every morning almost on, on the show. Uh, and, um, you know, listen, when you look back and you see some of the things that we could have learned, I mean, not to divide on some pretty basic stuff. I mean, listen, I think folks who, who say, well, I don't want to wear a mask, it's too political. I, I, to me, I just say, look, it's, I'll stipulate the fact, yes, we are sacrificing some kind of personal freedom and, re and requiring us to put on masks when we go inside. But fine, it's worth it if we can get this economy going again, if we can get people back to work. So, uh, again, I think Washington's really just a reflection of where the country is right now. I am confident that we're going to see our way clear out of this. One of the things that sort of frustrated me, though, is I, I really don't understand why we've not been better at testing. You know, I've got to do, uh, do a business trip up to Massachusetts uh, and in order to do that next week, I've got to go and get a test, but I can't be guaranteed that test is going to come back with results uh, in until 48, 72 hours. How is that when we're six or seven months into this now? So that, that's what really sort of boggles my mind in a country like ours.